Reverend Insanity. Chapter 1821, Gaining Heaven Form Again. Heavenly Court, Kin Ding Ling stood on heaven overseeing tower as she looked at the scenery of Heavenly Court, showing a look of nostalgia. A long time later, she sighed softly. Even though the changes are huge, I can still vaguely remember the scenery of 300,000 years ago in my memories. Beside her stood Fairy Zai Wai. Fairy Zai Wai had a reverent expression. This senior female immortal here could not compare to Duke Long's seniority, but she had a huge background as well. She was originally a certain generation's first supreme elder of central continents, ten great ancient sects, Heaven's Envy Manor, the day before she was going to become a member of Heavenly Court. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable made one declaration, and she was forced to be his concubine. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable collected a harem and had many concubine palaces. They were present in southern border, northern plains, western desert, eastern sea, and central continent. Kin Ding Ling was the immortal empress of central continent's concubine palace in her time. After Giant Sun Immortal Venerable died, Kin Ding Ling vanished mysteriously, but to think that she would appear a few days ago. Senior Kin Ding Ling's identity is not false, but according to history, she cultivated Metal Path. Why did she transform into a Luck Path Gu Immortal? Fairy Zai Wai had questions in her mind. At this time, Kin Ding Ling suddenly turned around. There was a sharp light in her gaze that could see through worldly affairs. She was not a beauty in the most traditional sense, even though her nose bridge was tall, the tip of her nose was a little sharp, her lips were thin and her eyes were thin and long. However, when blended together, she had a unique sense of beauty. Her appearance would be deeply engraved into people's hearts when they see her. She was taller than normal people, her shoulders were broad, she stood straight and had a heroic aura. She wore a huge cape on her back that extended from her shoulders to the ground. The cape was made of a special material. It seemed to be made from pieces of golden armor. When put together, from time to time, golden light would flow along the cape in thin waves. The broad cape emphasized the beauty of her majestic body. Especially her long legs, they were also covered in armor that were black and golden in color. She had outstanding presence, she was like a born royalty that ruled above the common man. When she looked at people, because of her height, she often had to look down. She had an authoritative aura that was fermented naturally within her. People would lower their heads and not dare to look at her directly. It was as if they could only look at her feet in order to not offend her. Kin Ding Ling spoke lightly. Fairy Zai Wai, I know the questions you have. The truth is, I had intentionally gone missing. Back then, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable was invincible in the world. He controlled the entire era. Nobody could resist him. Thankfully, he was not a demon venerable. Even though I was forced to be his immortal empress, I also had my own objectives. That was to learn the profundity of luck path from him. After Giant Sun Immortal Venerable died, I gained a lot of insight. I decided to abandon Metal Path and cultivate Luck Path. But I already had rank 8 cultivation level back then, the risks were too great if I were to cultivate Luck Path. I gained the help of Heavenly Court and obtained a chance to hibernate. I also abandoned all of my Metal Path Dao marks and turned them into a metal coffin in which I was buried deep within the earth vein, entering closed cultivation to comprehend Luck Path. This slumber continued for 300,000 years. When I woke up, the world had already changed beyond my comprehension. Kin Ding Ling's tone was filled with deep emotions. 300,000 years later, everything had changed. The huge shadow cast down upon her, giant sun immortal venerable, had died long ago. After him, there were spectral soul demon venerable and paradise earth immortal venerable. Right now, the world was facing the wave of the Great Era. All sorts of prophecies and signs showed that a supreme venerable was going to appear. So that's it. Fairy Zai Wai let out a breath of air. Joy was expressed on her face. Senior, you came at the perfect timing. I must admit fault for this. Heavenly Court failed time and time again. 
One of the reasons for this was our weakness in luck path. We were restrained and often lost to that demon. Kim Ding Ling nodded. I've seen the information, to think that a demon like Fang Yuan emerged. This is very rare even in human history. However, don't think too lowly of yourself. Your decisions were not wrong. It was just that the enemy is too crafty and has multiple venerable inheritances. Especially the latter, it made Fang Yuan extremely hard to deal with. I am afraid that the reason I woke up this time is also most likely to deal with Fang Yuan. Fairy Zai Wai was surprised. What does Senior mean by that? Kin Ding Ling smiled with deep meaning. Fairy Zai Wai, there is profundity in my awakening. Let me ask you, who woke me up? It was Gu Yu Fang Jing. Exactly. Kin Ding Ling said slowly. The otherworldly demon does not exist within fate. It is an anomaly of the world. Heavens will try to use this pawn against spectral soul's heaven-defying attempt. It naturally created a way to restrain the otherworldly demon too. Like how the antidote for a venomous snake often exists near it. Gu Yu Fang Zheng is the safety measure that the heavenly Tao created against Fang Yuan. As she said this, Kin Ding Ling looked at Fairy Zai Wai with an expression of praise. You know little about luck path. But you managed to deduce this and nurtured Fang Zheng to become an immortal. It was not easy. I do not deserve this praise. This junior was only doing her best to defend heavenly court and protect the righteousness of humanity. Ha ha ha, well said. This is the spirit of heavenly court. Even after 300,000 years, it has not changed. Kin Ding Ling chuckled as she continued saying with happiness. The otherworldly demon Fang Yuan is an uncertain variable. Gu Yu Fang Zheng is the key to restraining him. He will change as Fang Yuan changes. Spectral soul failed to defy heaven, while Fang Yuan escaped from the control of heaven's will. He is becoming stronger, he has no weaknesses and is growing extremely quickly at a shocking pace. Even heavenly court is without options against him. Thus, to mend this problem, Fang Jing woke me up and caused me to interfere in this world again. Fate is constant while luck is a variable. The higher the cultivation level and strength of the Gu Immortal, the stronger and grander their luck will be. This is because every thought and action of theirs can cause great changes in the surroundings. Fang Yuan has incredibly strong luck, but you nurtured Fang Zheng and made him an immortal, this caused him to exert enough influence to wake me up and resist Fang Yuan's current advantage. In the future, I am sure that similar situations will continue to occur. This demon Fang Yuan will not be free for long. At this point, Kin Ding Ling instructed Fairy Zai Wai, You need to continue putting in resources to nurture Fang Zheng and ensure his safety. As long as we have him, we can follow the arrangements of Heaven's will we will achieve success with less effort. Junior understands. Fairy Zai Wai's eyes shined with bright light. All along, she had not made much progress in dealing with Fang Yuan. That was because he was too crafty and well defended. Fairy Zai Wai could not deduce his whereabouts. Fairy Zai Wai knew the purpose of Gu Yu Fang Zheng, but she did not place emphasis on him. She believed in her and heavenly court strength. Her arrangements regarding Fang Zheng were just a supplementary move. But after getting Kin Ding Ling's alert, Fairy Zai Wai understood that Gu Yu Fang Zheng was the most useful pawn in dealing with Fang Yuan. Right after she nurtured Fang Zheng to become an immortal, a good result had already occurred Kin Ding Ling awakened. As long as she continued investing in him, more people similar to Kin Ding Ling would show up. The stronger Fang Zheng becomes, the grander his luck will be, and the more variables he will be able to create. These are all the arrangements of Heaven's will, specially used to counter Fang Yuan. In that case, we will focus on Fang Zheng, with Heavenly Court supporting him fully. Fairy Zai Wai grasped the situation with great clarity, she immediately changed her tactic to the most suitable one. Oh, one more thing. I have many incomplete Immortal Goo recipes here. I had secretly obtained them by probing Giant Sun Immortal Venerable in the past. These recipes have to do with Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's Luck Path Immortal Goo. 
I need you to complete them and refine them. Kin Ding Ling took out an information path gooworm. Fairy's eye Y quickly received it with both hands. I will do my best to deduce them. Please rest assured, senior. Immemorial White Heaven. Five Yang's Grotto Heaven. Fang Yuan had been cultivating here recently. Immortal Killer Move Myriad Thought Sword Waterfall. Rumble. With a loud sound, a grand waterfall appeared inside Heaven Form Killer Move. The silver waterfall was majestic and vast. It slammed into the wills that were stored up at the bottom of Heaven Form. Each drop of water in this waterfall was a thought. It had the appearance of a sword. The waterfall crashed down and instantly created a huge crevice, decimating a large amount of wills. After a few breaths of time, the waterfall vanished. A lake appeared within the land of wills. Within the lake was a pool of sword thoughts. Immortal killer move swordsman. Fang Yuan willed as he activated another move. Once this move was activated, the lake water started to bubble like it was boiling. Next, warriors jumped out of the lake one by one. They all had Fang Yuan's appearance and held long swords in their hands. They hacked and slashed at the lingering wills. Each attack caused cracks to form on the collective wills. These two moves had outstanding origins. Fang Yuan had created them as compound killer moves. Myriad Thought Sword Waterfall used Wisdom Sword Immortal Goo as the core. It contained Sword Path. It was more effective on these wills compared to using Wisdom Sword Immortal Goo alone. Meanwhile, the Killer Move Swordsman contained Sword Path and Human Path. Fang Yuan had successfully created it recently after becoming a Human Path Grandmaster. Two hours later. Suddenly, the loud cry of a crane filled the entire Five Yang's Grotto Heaven. The white crane which was sleeping had been awakened from its dreams. It stretched its body and flapped its wings. It was very elegant. I finally grasped control of heaven form again. Ha ha, I spent less than half the time compared to the previous life. It is time to move out and find Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven and Profound Literature Grotto Heaven. Fang Yuan smiled as bright light shined in his eyes. Good events came in succession. He obtained a report from Lang Yelan Spirit. Another rank 6 luck path Immortal Gu had been successfully refined. Fang Yuan had not obtained Regret Gu yet. He did not want to do a mass refinement to raise the rank of his current Immortal Gu for now. But he extorted the southern border Righteous Path and obtained lots of luck path Immortal materials, he had been trying to refine these luck path immortal goo for the current period of time. Immortal goo were unique. Once he refines them, others would not be able to. The sovereign immortal aperture had already developed to a certain extent. Fang Yuan was affluent enough to feed mere rank 6 immortal goo with no problems. Chapter 1822, Using Soul Replacement Twice According to my memories, it should be around here. Fang Yuan stopped at a certain location in Immemorial White Heaven. There was nothing here, but according to the memories of Fang Yuan's previous life, he knew that Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven was right here. The Grotto Heaven's entrance was closed and hidden in empty space. It could not be seen with the naked eye. Fang Yuan had used Heaven Form in the previous life to discover the existence of Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven. It was not as troublesome this time, he could directly locate it. Go, Heaven Form, Fang Yuan willed. Heaven Form was a one-legged crane that was covered in snow-white feathers which had no dust or dirt. It had a long beak that was red in color. After it flew out, it flew round and round the empty space nearby. As it moved, information from Heaven Form went to the depths of Fang Yuan's mind. These were all information regarding Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven. Fang Yuan soon learned about the details of the inside world. Even though I successfully annexed this Grotto Heaven in the previous life, I came at a slightly different time in this life. Some unexpected mishaps might occur. If Heavenly Court has some arrangements inside and I go right in, there would be huge problems. Fang Yuan acted vigilantly. After investigating it for a long time, 
he confirmed that Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven was still an isolated world that did not interact with the outside world. He relaxed at long last as he activated a killer move that he had prepared for a long time. After some effort, the killer move was completed. Fang Yuan spat out lightly from his mouth. A gray soul ball shot into the grotto heaven at lightning speed. It was so fast that it vanished without a trace, as if all that happened was an illusion. After the gray soul ball entered beast calamity grotto heaven, it quickly descended. Any living being that entered Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven would be affected by the Myriad Beings Assimilation Transformation Killer move that was in the Grotto Heaven. They would be turned into a Beast Calamity. The last time Fang Yuan attacked, he had met with this issue as he turned into Bull-Headed Demon God. He slaughtered countless beings and caused a river of blood to flow. Corpses lay on the ground everywhere. Even though he was invincible and rampaged unhindered, he only managed to snatch the Beast Calamity inheritance. He did not gain the acknowledgement of the Killin Heavenly Spirit. He managed to use Myriad Beings Assimilation Transformation with difficulty, but obtained no immortal goo. It was merely half an inheritance. After that, because of the battle in Eastern Sea over Dragon Palace, Fang Yuan stopped his plans here and went to Eastern Sea, but gained nothing. Eventually, he had to come here and change his tactics. He annexed the entire Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven after subduing it. All these incidents made his efficiency very low. Fang Yuan wasted lots of time and effort. The Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven that he obtained was also heavily damaged by himself. He killed almost all of the Gu Immortals inside the Grotto Heaven. That would not do. Fang Yuan decided to change his tactics against Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven this time. He wanted to preserve it at its full strength. He wanted to gather all of the Gu Immortals here and place them in his sovereign immortal aperture to increase the scale of his subordinates. The Grey Soul Ball descended rapidly in the sky. Myriad Beings' assimilation transformation started to exert its influence on the Soul Ball, but it had all sorts of transformation path Dao marks on its surface. The number of transformation path Dao marks continued to be expended as it resisted the power of myriad beings' assimilation transformation, maintaining the soul ball's shape. Fang Yuan was outside, using heaven form to observe this. The gray soul ball had limited time, it could not be replenished after leaving Fang Yuan. Even though it had a lot of transformation path Dao marks to resist myriad beings' assimilation transformation, the expenditure was heavy, it would be destroyed after some time. If not for the transformation path Dao marks protecting it, the Grey Soul Ball would be transformed into a Beast Calamity due to the power of Myriad Beings' Assimilation Transformation. It would likely become an ancient soul beast. By then, not only would he be exposed, he would also be attacked by the alerted Gu Immortals. In that case, Fang Yuan's plans would end in failure. But thankfully, Fang Yuan had planned this meticulously. Soon, the soul ball reached the ground, it sneaked into a bustling city. It roamed in the alleys, hiding in the dark corners as it moved rapidly like a fish in water. Beat, beat him up harshly. Boom, boom, boom. In a small alley, a few rich youngsters were beating up a poor kid of their own age. The poor lad wore a thin shirt. He was covered in wounds everywhere. He was already beaten to a pulp. He could not resist. He had to bend down and hold his head, shrinking into a ball. Eventually, he fainted from the assault. Seeing this, the rich young masters quickly stopped. Don't tell me we killed him. No, no, that's too scary. This lad is so weak. How dare this lad get close to Lin Clan's young miss? He did not even heed the warning of young Master Lin. HMPH he deserves it even if he dies. The youngsters walked away with smug expressions, feeling agitated. Good chance, my luck is quite good. The gray soul ball arrived just in time as ripples appeared on the surface. This good luck was not a coincidence, it was influenced by Fang Yuan's own luck. Seeing that there was nobody around, the gray soul ball did not hesitate, 
It entered the chest of the poor lad and enveloped his soul entirely. The young man had a weak soul, he was resisting instinctively. But Fang Yuan's gray soul ball was a portion of his desolate soul, it was incredibly powerful. How could a mortal soul defend against it? In almost an instant, the young man's soul was destroyed by the gray soul ball entirely. The gray soul ball expanded rapidly, turning into the young man's appearance. It occupied the young man's body and controlled his mind, taking over and becoming a native person. From today onwards, I am the young lad, Shan Bu Du Wan. That's right, this gray soul ball was none other than the soul path killer move soul replacement. In the past, Shadow Sect had used this move to successfully plant spies in Lang Ye Blessed Land. Until now, the traitor Sixth Hair was still alive. The gray soul ball originated from Fang Yuan's desolate soul. It could not be detected by land spirits or heavenly spirits. This was the specialty of soul replacement. If not for this, Lang Ye Land Spirit would have discovered the secret of Shadow Sex spies long ago. And Fang Yuan had modified soul replacement on that foundation, adding in many transformation path Immortal Goo to supplement it. Thus, the Grey Soul Ball had transformation path Dao Marks and could resist the influence of myriad beings assimilation transformation. However, after soul replacement succeeded, all my actions will be observable by the heavenly spirit. I need to act with caution from now on. Thankfully, I have already destroyed the young lad's soul and obtained his memories. I know everything about his life. Even though the heavenly spirit was unlikely to place attention on this tiny area, who knows? At the next moment, Fang Yuan's clone started his performance. The young man grunted as he opened his eyes. He had rage and helplessness on his face. Damn it! He climbed up with difficulty, because of his injuries, the intense pain made him gasp loudly. Eventually, he held on to the wall as support, walking out slowly. Fang Yuan's main body observed for a while longer, seeing that this clone had adapted well without any accidents. He stopped heaven form and left. He rapidly arrived near profound literature Grotto Heaven. This information path Grotto Heaven was quite troublesome to take down. Fang Yuan lacked information path attainment, while there was an information path rank 8 Gu Immortal inside the Grotto Heaven defending it. In the previous life, Fang Yuan failed because of this rank 8 Gu Immortal. He was stopped outside and could not get in. Like earlier, Fang Yuan investigated this place again. Profound literature Grotto Heaven was also not a trap. It had not been affected by the ink effect. There were no negative changes for Fang Yuan. Thus, Fang Yuan instilled immortal essence and activated heaven form, creating a white light passage. Such guts, which vile fiend dares to invade my homeland? A vast and mighty voice resounded from within, speaking with righteousness. Next, an old man resembling a white-robed scholar, possessing rank 8 aura, showed up at the other end of the white light passage. He came out after all. Fang Yuan was not surprised. He opened a slit of the sovereign immortal aperture's entrance. A large number of desolate beasts, ancient desolate beasts, and immemorial desolate beasts were let out. Heaven form itself could not transport killer moves. Once Fang Yuan uses any killer moves, the white light passage would break. But the white light passage could transport living beings, like how Fang Yuan had used it to invade Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven. Don't even think about it. The white-robed old man shouted loudly. He used an information path offensive method to create a rain of written characters that slaughtered the beast groups. A few breaths of time later, the white light passage collapsed. An immemorial desolate beast was in a pitiful state as its head had just entered when the passage broke. Thus, its head was left in profound literature grotto heaven while its body was outside. No matter who you are, you will have to pay an unimaginable price to invade this place. The white-robed old man called out. Fang Yuan smiled nonchalantly. He went to another area and started to do the same thing. But similar to the previous life, 
The white-robed old man arrived quickly, slaughtering the invading beast groups again. Fang Yuan changed several locations, but each attempt ended in failure. No matter who you are, with me around, don't think of succeeding. The white-robed old man had great morale. Is that so? Fang Yuan laughed coldly as he retreated. Within profound literature grotto heaven, at a certain courtyard, a young male scholar looked at his reflection in the well water as he thought, From today onwards, I am Lai Zio Bai too. Chapter 1823 Cooking Luck Po Immemorial White Heaven Fang Yuan rode on spontaneous auspicious cloud as he flew in the sky. The heaven form white crane was following closely, circling around him. The killer move spontaneous auspicious cloud was obtained by Fang Yuan from Hai Fan Grotto Heaven. After some modifications, he used it as a movement killer move. But the auspicious cloud did not follow Fang Yuan's will, but moved according to the mystery of luck path. The route that the auspicious cloud moved was the one with the greatest luck. Spontaneous auspicious cloud and heaven form worked together very well. Fang Yuan had used this in his previous life to find Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven and Profound Literature Grotto Heaven. Not long ago, Fang Yuan had already used Soul Replacement in both the Grotto Heavens. After that, Fang Yuan waited for his clones to develop while he continued cultivating and gathering strength. His Kai Path killer moves were still in the process of familiarization. After intense practice, he could already use them to fight against rank 8 Gu Immortals. But the trump card Unlimited Kai C killer move was still quite foreign to Fang Yuan. Other than training killer moves, Fang Yuan's main body also patrolled Immemorial White Heaven and used both spontaneous auspicious cloud and heaven form to attempt to find more Grotto Heavens. But until now, Fang Yuan had found nothing. Even though heaven form has a wide range, against this huge immemorial white heaven, it is just too tiny in comparison. But along this route, I had great gains. I obtained a lot of rank 8 immortal materials. This is truly the best route for me. I was lucky all along the way. It was filled with surprises. Oh, my time path clone has obtained results from deduction. Fang Yuan's eyes shined with bright light. His main body cultivated diligently but had no great gains, but after so much time spent on deductions, the Time Path clone obtained quite a good result. Another Immortal Gu House's deduction is completed, very good. Fang Yuan was overjoyed. He diverted some of his attention to his Immortal Aperture as he started assembling it. Immemorial White Heaven was very dangerous with countless immemorial desolate beasts roaming around. There were even immemorial desolate beast groups occasionally. If ordinary rank 8 Gu Immortals explored this place, they would need to be vigilant. Some rank 7 experts would also explore immemorial white heaven for cultivation resources occasionally, but they were all fearful and careful. However, Fang Yuan had spontaneous auspicious cloud. He only had good luck along the way. With the help of heaven form, he could detect any danger in advance. Fang Yuan was able to easily avoid them ahead of time. Iron Wall Gu This was a rank 6 metal path Gu Worm. It was the size of an adult's fist, heavy and resembling a rhinoceros beetle. But be it the head or back, it was squarish and straight, its body had almost no curves at all. Evidently, Iron Wall Gu was a defensive Gu Worm. It had been taken from Lang Ya Sex Inventory used by Fang Yuan now to create his second immortal Gu House. Once Iron Wall Gu was activated, a large number of mortal Gu followed. These mortal Gu were of various types. There were 3,000 of them, among which Fire Path and Metal Path were the most numerous. They were all rank 5 Gu. Iron Wall Gu was fixed at the center while the mortal Gu surrounded it as they moved like a wave. A wave of black light appeared among the mortal goo like spreading ink. It enveloped all of the goo worms as a black ball of light was created. The black ball floated in the sky. Its surface was uneven as the goo worms inside started to fly even faster now. After reaching a certain speed, the black ball became extremely smooth. 
There were no bumps anymore, it was completely round. At this point, Fang Yuan started to activate his Fire Path Immortal Goo. He activated three Fire Path Immortal Goo and a large number of Mortal Goo, creating a flame. The flame had an intense scarlet color, coiling around the black ball as it burned continuously. An alluring fragrance started to spread. Mortals who breathed it in would indulge in it and feel deep desires and imaginations that could not be stopped. After burning for many hours, the black ball turned into a golden ball of light on the surface. The black color earlier seemed to be soot that was removed by the flames. Fang Yuan maintained this golden ball of light as he stopped the flame, taking out Water Path and Wisdom Path Immortal Goo as he created a clear spring. The spring water doused the golden ball as sizzling sounds were heard, it was like red-hot iron submerged in water. But no steam was produced, all of the water had fused into the golden ball. The golden ball of light started to become slower in rotation. The goo worms inside looked like tiny golden meteors that spun around endlessly. The pattern of their traces became more complicated and disorganized. It would make people feel dizzy when looking, but no collisions had taken place at all during this period. At this time, Fang Yuan took out his second supplementary immortal goo. Food Path Immortal Goo Cook It looked like a giant water bug that was the size of a basin. It had a triangular head and short feelers. Under its feelers were two compound eyes shining in golden light. Its body was flat and oval-shaped. It was dark red in color and had the sensation of touching sand. It was very warm. It had three pairs of legs. The front pair was the strongest, looking like two thick and powerful pincers. Immortal Goo Cook was obtained by Fang Yuan when he extorted the southern border righteous path. By now, Fang Yuan had already returned the bodies and souls of the southern border Gu immortal captives. He started to exchange immortal Gu with them. Fang Yuan spent an hour before he placed immortal Gu Cook into the golden ball of light. The golden ball expanded by double its original size as a result. Fang Yuan was already covered in sweat. He had finally gotten past this hardest part of the first step. Assembling an immortal goo house was not easy. It was much more difficult than using normal killer moves. If it failed, the goo immortal would face a backlash. The goo worms used would also be damaged or destroyed. Thus, Fang Yuan was extremely careful and vigilant. As he continued, Fang Yuan added dog shit luck, Kai luck, luck inspection, connect luck, time luck, and his other luck path immortal goo into the ball. His luck path attainment level was master, while formation path was grandmaster, he already had intuition. Thus, during the process of assembling it, if any bad feelings emerged, Fang Yuan would pay close attention to them and make appropriate adjustments. The most important thing was that his method of assembling the immortal goo house was deduced by the time path clone using the light of wisdom. It was very exemplary. Half a month later in the Sovereign Immortal Aperture's time, Fang Yuan succeeded. The golden light ball exploded as a brand new immortal goo house was formed. Different from myriad year flying warship, this immortal goo house was smaller and had the size of a regular bowl. It was shining in golden light. It was covered in a pure white light, sacred and royal. It was a pot. The pot's rim was about a thumb's thickness. The internal space was large, but there was nothing inside now. Outside the pot, there were eight dragons. Six were vivid and lively, while two were blurry and crude. These eight dragons were all at the base of the pot, coiling around each other and extending their claws to become the legs of this pot. The eight dragon tails pointed in eight different directions, towards the north, south, east, west, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. Each dragon claw was attached to the surface of the pot. The dragon bodies moved upwards as the dragon heads hung on the edge, looking inside. The dragon eyes were shut as if they were sleeping. Rank 6 Immortal Goo House Cooking Luck Pot Even though Rank 7 Immortal Goo like Food Path Immortal Goo Cook were used, the Core Luck Path Immortal Goo were still Rank 6. 
Thus this immortal goo house had a slightly lower rank. This immortal goo house was within the records of Giant Sun's true inheritance. Fang Yuan's time path clone had improved upon and modified it. Evidently, this was a luck path immortal goo house. It could not carry goo immortals into battle. It was tiny and had another use. In fact, it was quite similar to Star Constellation Chessboard. Fang Yuan instilled his immortal essence as cooking luck pot started to vibrate. It turned into a golden light and flew above Fang Yuan's head, vanishing from sight. Even Fang Yuan could not see this immortal goo house with his naked eye, he had to use methods to verify its existence. It was quite easy to see it. Fang Yuan willed as he instilled immortal essence, activating one of Cooking Luck Pot's killer moves. Luck Inspection Fang Yuan's vision changed rapidly. He saw that his luck was flowing into Cooking Luck Pot continuously. After a while, Cooking Luck Pot became filled with luck. Luck Inspection Immortal Goo is only rank 6 while I have rank 8 cultivation level. Just this Immortal Goo alone cannot inspect my luck. Cooking Luck Pot is only rank 6. I can only see the luck inside this pot, but not the full extent of my luck. Even so, Fang Yuan could still see a bit of his luck on the outside of the pot. There was a river like luck with clear and bright water. It seemed like a miniature river of time. It was most connected to Fang Yuan. One end of the river extended into the pot while the other merged into empty space. This was the luck of Fang Yuan's Time Path clone. The Time Path clone had stable luck, but a trace of Black Kai was forming and growing continuously. This was Spring-Autumn Cicada's drawback. It generated bad luck. Once in a while, Fang Yuan would need to use luck path methods against it. There was another luck. It looked like a layer of pink fog. It was floating near the pot, circling around it. This was the luck of Fang Yuan's Dream Path clone. The pink fog was weak and thin. It continued to change forms as it resembled a vague shadow. Only after the Dream Path clone becomes rank 6 would it have comparable luck with the Time Path clone. Other than that, there was the Dragonman clone's luck. It was a tiny purple dragon flying near the pot. Fang Yuan's clone in Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven had a gray and dirty sparrow luck, while his profound literature Grotto Heaven clone had a flower bud luck that was wilting. These two clones have weak luck. It seems that the gray soul ball consumed a lot of luck, and because they and my main body are separated by a small world, there is some obstruction. In that case, Fang Yuan willed as he activated Cooking Luck Pot. Cooking Luck Pot started to rise in temperature as the luck started to boil. Two dragons at the edge of the pot opened their eyes and mouths, sucking at the luck in the pot. Immediately, two portions of luck were absorbed into the dragon's stomachs. The dragons started to move as their heads turned towards the gray sparrow and flower bud, spitting out at them. The two spurts of luck shot out and fused into the gray sparrow luck and flower bud luck. Instantly, the gray sparrow chirped and turned into a sharp-beaked eagle. It spread its wings and flew. Meanwhile, the flower bud luck seemed invigorated as it bloomed profusely in vibrant colors. Chapter 1824 Egg Falling from the Sky Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's self-luck true inheritance had a comprehensive description of all the different forms of luck. Generally, the seven main colors of luck were black, gray, white, red, gold, azure, purple, but there were also uncommon colors that were created by the mixing of the above colors. Luck had all sorts of special forms and appearances. They varied according to the situations and conditions that the individuals were in. Fang Yuan, for example, had very different luck compared to his various clones. Fang Yuan owned the complete self-luck true inheritance of Giant Sun and a portion of all living beings' luck true inheritance, he only needed to take a look at these colors and shapes to learn about their conditions and deduce a lot of information. Cooking Luck Pot had Time Luck, Luck Inspection, Dog Shit Luck, Kai Luck, Connect Luck, and other Immortal Goo. The abilities of these Luck Path Immortal Goo were just the basic functions of Cooking Luck Pot. 
The main ability of this immortal goo house was cooking luck. The shape, size, and color of one's luck was a representation of their current situation and possible changes. For example, if Fang Yuan had a dense black coffin luck now, it meant that he was going to face fatal danger. Fang Yuan could use cooking luck pot to cook and change this black coffin luck into a brand new luck within the pot. For example, fortune luck or peach blossom luck. Giant Sun's self-luck true inheritance revolved around researching on one's own luck and how to modify it. This cooking luck pot was the peak creation within this true inheritance. It had the ability to cook any form of luck and convert it into something the user wants. However, I have rank 8 cultivation level while cooking luck pot is only rank 6. It can barely affect my main body's luck. However, my other clones are different with the highest being rank 7 and most of the rest being mortals. With the cooking luck I used earlier, the effect and change should be immediate. Fang Yuan tested it for a while before continuing to cultivate and practice his Kai Path killer moves. He definitely had to raise cooking luck pot's rank, but currently, Regret Gu was inside the paradise, Dragon Whale Grotto Heaven. Fang Yuan could command the Hairy Man Gu Immortals to refine rank 6 luck path Immortal Gu en masse, but to advance them to rank 7, he lacked some crucial elements. Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven Fang Yuan's clone, Jean Boudou, was walking slowly. The crowd was noisy. People moved rapidly like a current. This is the largest Gu master market in the city. It is bustling. Jan Boudou observed and thought. He was only rank one now, he was too young. And because he was broke, he came here this time to collect information and increase his understanding of the surroundings. Gu masters need resources to cultivate. I am totally broke now. My most important task now is to earn money. Jan Boudou had an innocent young face, but he was full of confidence internally. He was a split soul of Fang Yuan, a Gu immortal, how hard was it to find a method of earning a fortune as a Gu master? But after some observation, Jan Boudou's brows became covered in a thin layer of bitterness. Gu masters are known as combat beast envoys in this place. Even though they both use Gu worms, these Gu worms are used to nurture combat beasts or to fuse with wild beasts and plants. There are no instances of Gu masters fighting alone in this place. Fang Yuan walked around the market. He found very few Gu worms here. Most shops were selling beasts or plants. It is no surprise. This beast calamity grotto heaven has the power of the killer move myriad beings assimilation transformation. It is very easy for Gu masters to fuse with beasts or plants. In the outside world, they would need to pay more than 10 times the price to achieve it. Because the method of fusing with beasts and plants is too easy and advantageous, traditional goo cultivation has been buried in history. Of course, this is also the intention of Beast Calamity Immortal. Even Beast Calamity Immortal died after suffering heavy injuries from his first myriad tribulation. He had placed a lot of effort in developing this grotto heaven in the past. He probably created this trend so that he could control the living beings inside well. After all, Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven had a really large number of people. Jan Bu Du wanted to take over this place. He could not use the traditional Gu cultivation method. He had to assimilate and become a combat beast envoy. Becoming a combat beast envoy could be said to be easy, but also hard it only required the Gu Master to successfully fuse with a wild beast or plant. This was the most basic step. After that, he could go to the combat beast guild and spend money to register and become a guild member. Inside Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven, the combat beast guild was the largest and sole super force. If Jan Bu Du joined it, he would have the lowest-ranking combat beast disciple status. Above disciple level would be the main forces of the combat beast guild combat beast envoy. Above combat beast envoy was combat beast warrior. This needed Gu immortal cultivation level, and they were mostly city lords. 
and above Combat Beast Warrior was the one and only Combat Beast King. The structure of the organization was simple and crude. Jean Boudou not only lacked goo worms now, he also lacked combat beasts and combat plants. Especially the latter two, they were expensive. After collecting enough information, Jean Boudou had a plan in his mind. According to my plan, in a month's time, I will have enough finances to buy a goo worm. After another month, I will be able to purchase the lowest grade combat beast. I will buy the incisor rat first and use it for some time. This wild beast is greatly underestimated by everyone, it is very valuable for its price. With sufficient strength, I will join the combat beast guild and use it to receive missions and increase my strength rapidly. Hmm. At this moment, John Boudou heard a shout, careful, above you. He quickly looked up and saw a black figure descending rapidly from the sky. Even higher in the sky, an old man was manipulating the huge bird below him, descending quickly as he tried to catch the black figure, but it seemed like he was too late. What is it? Quickly run. The surrounding people quickly dispersed. Jean Boudou also quickened his pace, hiding under the roof of a shop. Boom. Almost instantly, the black object crashed into this shop's stairs as it shattered. Shrapnels flew everywhere as the surrounding people screamed out in pain and agony. Jean Boudou was the closest to it, but he was completely unharmed. This is an egg. Jean Boudou looked at the egg that was as tall as a person, thinking, this aura, it is clearly a desolate beast egg. While he was thinking, the eggshell broke as a cute little eagle made its way to the world. The young eagle looked at Jean Boudou as it chirped. It jumped onto him and used its tiny beak to peck at Jean Boudou's cheeks. How could this happen? The old man riding a huge bird landed on the ground as he looked at this with dumbfounded expression. Hello old sir, my name is Jean Boudou. Jean Boudou was knowledgeable. He knew this old man was a goo immortal. He did not dare to wait and quickly paid his respects. Before the old man spoke, that tiny eagle that Jean Boudou shrugged off went towards him again as it patted his back using its tiny wings. The old man had a complex expression as he looked at this tiny eagle. He assessed Jean Boudou closely. Sigh, my partner has been pregnant for 30 years. It finally laid the egg today. So coincidentally, it landed here and hatched as a young arrowtail eagle. You were the first person that it saw, so it treated you as its closest kin. Jean Boudou was stunned. He quickly waved his hands. Old sir, I am so sorry. I, I did not mean to do that. The old goo immortal chuckled. Your name is Jean Boudou? I will call you Little Do. Oh, Little Do, don't be nervous. I am not blaming you. In fact, I need to apologize to you. The egg almost killed you earlier. This truly feels like an arrangement of fate. If my grandson was still alive, he would be as old as you. Oh, little do, are you willing to cultivate with me? You obtained the young arrowtail eagle's recognition. You might be able to become a combat beast warrior in the future. Combat beast warrior? Jan Boudou's eyes widened as it shined with light. He had the expression of an innocent and excited boy. He clenched his fists. My greatest dream is to become a combat beast warrior. Old sir, can I really do it? Can I cultivate by your side? The old man laughed loudly. Oh, little do. It will depend on your hard work to determine if you can become a combat beast warrior. But for now, let's leave. Yes, old sir. Jan Boudou followed the old man as they rode on the arrowtail eagle, flying away under plain sight. Heavens! What did I just see? Isn't this youngster's luck way too good? That old man is the city lord of Mountain Cliff City. He is Mountain Cliff City Lord? Oh, I heard that the Mountain Cliff City Lord would come to our city one of these days to negotiate matters with our city lord. The surrounding people exploded into a commotion. Their discussions got increasingly louder. Who is that young man? He seems to be called John Boudou. Why is his luck so good? Sigh. 
Why wasn't it me? Had I known this, I would have pushed him aside. Damn it. This Jan Bu Du wore tattered clothes. He is clearly a poor lad, but he was actually taken in by that esteemed combat beast warrior. He has truly changed his fate. His future is incomparably bright now. He even gained the acknowledgement of the Arrowtail Eagle. This is an immortal beast, an immortal beast. Indeed, compared to an immortal beast's, all of the beasts and plants in the market are trash, they are less valuable than the eagle's feces. Some were angrily stomping their feet, feeling extremely regretful. Why did they not grab onto this rare opportunity earlier? Some stared with wide-opened eyes that had turned red. Some were shouting and screaming, their saliva spitting everywhere. Profound Literature Grotto Heaven A poetry competition was going on. A famous great scholar looked at the students in the hall as he laughed. This city is filled with literary talents. I see that all your students are overflowing with scholarly aura. It seems that Brother Zhang's teachings has paid off. I am flattered, Brother Shen. These students of mine are shallow in knowledge. They are still too young. This is their great opportunity and luck to be able to watch our literary battle. The teacher of this place, Teacher Zhang, said humbly. Great scholar Shen held out his hand. Brother Zhang, we are quite evenly matched in this battle, let's consider it a tie. Next, let's play a game of passing the flower one. The three students who win will recite their poems, let me see the literature skills of these juniors, how about that? All right. Teacher Zhang thought about it and nodded in agreement. Immediately, the eyes of many students below the stage lightened up. This was an incredibly rare opportunity. There were two great scholars on the stage, no matter how good their poems were, as long as they could showcase their works, their reputation would spread among the people. The drums rolled. Choose me, choose me. Pass it to me, pass it to me. Sigh, the drums have stopped. Who has the red flower? Please do recite your poem. Great scholar Shen opened his eyes as he smiled. As everyone looked with gazes of anticipation, Lai Zio Bai walked up the stage while rubbing his nose. Chapter 1825, Getting the Red Flower Student Lai Zio Bai greets both teachers. Lai Zio Bai walked up the stage and said politely. Great scholar Shen smiled at him, nodding. Meanwhile, teacher Zhang of this school asked, Zio Bai, do you have any poems? Teacher Zhang had a bit of worry shown between his brows. This Zio Bai was very ordinary in talent. Hopefully he had some sort of preparation before this. Otherwise, with his current standards, this would be a disappointing show. It was okay if he was the only person disappointed. But right now, with great scholar Shen here, especially when the first half of this competition was very interesting and would become renowned in the world. If the later half was disappointing, everyone in the world would know that Teacher Zhang was a talented person but could not teach young talents himself. Teacher, I have a poem prepared. Lai Zio Bai immediately answered, he was quite confident. Then let us hear it. Teacher Zhang was slightly more assured now. This profound literature grotto heaven was not like any other place. It had a flourishing literary culture. If anyone could make a good poem, even if nobody rewards them, heaven and earth would provide them benefits. Thus, the art of creating poems was an important task. It directly affected the person's livelihood, status, reputation, and future. Normally speaking, most scholars would accumulate their foundation and save some good poem lines as secrets. Even if they could not compose a poem with those lines, they would save it for the future. Thus, even though many scholars could create great poems, they would not publish them. They would conceal their strength and use them to deal with difficult poem competitions. Because of this, it was not strange or surprising that Lai Zio Bai had a poem prepared. Lai Zio Bai had his considerations. I have read countless poems in my life. Most are world-shocking creations. They are famous on earth even after thousands of years. And after such a long time, the literature on earth flourished greatly. But if I try to use these poems, it will be a problem. 
This Grotto Heaven world has an information path environment. It most excels at collecting information, especially the method to observe literary Kai and talent Kai. Almost everybody has such methods. They only vary in the depth of abilities. I lack literary Kai and talent Kai. Before I used soul replacement, this was just an ordinary student. By creating a world-shocking poem now, not only would people not believe me, they would also be suspicious and start investigating me. Even if I tried to explain that it is not my work afterwards, it would be too late. I'd be seen as dishonest. In this world, everyone will despise and loathe me. Fang Yuan had planned many things before infiltrating profound literature Grotto Heaven to deal with all sorts of situations. The clone Lai Zio Bai lacked literary Kai and talent Kai to begin with. It was not that Fang Yuan's own talents were lacking. However, Lai Zio Bai had a large number of famous poems in his memories, other than those from Earth, there were also Fang Yuan's own creations. Thus, Lai Zio Bai chose one of them and started to recite. Teacher Zhang let out a breath of air. This poem was quite well constructed. It was barely living up to the standards of today's competition. What? It is nothing impressive. I sat beside Lai Zio Bai for three years in class. This is way beyond his usual standards. Ha ha ha. Isn't that great? With his poem as the anchor, the next two winners will be very lucky. The students below the stage became increasingly lively. Even though Lai Ziobai's poem was quite compatible with his known abilities, he still had many more talented classmates around. Especially when some students had many precious poems that they prepared already in advance. These poems were composed meticulously by them. Using a lot of time and effort to create, they were too good for other situations, but this was an appropriate setting to use them. When the drums started rolling and the red flower got passed around, these elite students became very excited, their eyes were shining. The drums stopped. Most of the students were disappointed. Why were they not chosen? Next, their eyes turned red. It was him again. The red flower stopped at Lai Zio Bai's table. Oh, Lai Zio Bai was also quite surprised. The rules are the rules. You can come up again. Great scholar Shen laughed as he shook his head. Teacher Zhang got worried again. According to Lai Zio Bai's nature and foundation, he had already performed above standard last time, this time. But Lai Zio Bai started to recite his poem again. This poem was on the same level as the previous one. Teacher Zhang finally relaxed as he looked at Lai Zio Bai with a gentler expression. It seems that even though this student is not as talented, he is very hardworking. He stored up two poems as backup. These two should be his own creation. It was not easy that he managed to compose them. Lai Zio Bai did not put up a shameful performance. Teacher Zhang was very glad about it. The final person. Both chances went to Lai Zio Bai. Sai, that was truly bad luck. If I had gone on stage, the two great scholars would definitely be pleasantly surprised but I was not given a chance. I wonder who will get the third chance. If it is not me, I hope it is not them either. The students were unable to sit still. They had their own thoughts as they lost their cool. The drums rolled as the students looked at the red flower with bloodshot eyes. Pass it to me. Pass it to me. Sigh, it has passed me. I hope the drumming continues and it makes its way to me again. Bang. The drums stopped abruptly with a loud sound. Great scholar Shen opened his eyes as he smiled. Who is it this time? Ugh. He was dazed. A strange expression was shown on his face as he pointed at the final lucky star. He did not know whether to cry or laugh. Why is it you again? Lai Ziobai held the flower as he walked up the stage with a grim expression. He first cupped his fists at the two scholars before turning to the students below the stage. Fellow classmates, I really did not do this intentionally. Getting up the stage thrice is less of a surprise and more of a shock to me. I know that most of you are more talented than me, but I have to recite three times. I sincerely apologize. Originally, his classmates were shocked and furious. 
But after hearing Lai Ziobai's words and expression, the anger in their hearts dissipated. In fact, a portion of the people started to feel pity for Lai Ziobai. After all, Lai Ziobai's talent and literary skills were inferior to them. Wasn't he suffering by going up the stage? Your luck is too incredible. Forget it, start reciting. Teacher Zhang laughed as he spoke. Lai Ziobai started his recital again. The standard was ordinary, but the final line was quite impressive. Even though it was just a minor point, it elevated the entire poem to a new level. Not only did great scholar Shen laugh and praise it, even teacher Zhang was a little surprised. The final line of your poem is quite interesting. How did you conceptualize it? Lai Ziobai smiled bitterly. Teacher, I don't dare to lie. This poem had only three lines originally. I thought of and added the final line earlier when I was anxious to think that both sirs would enjoy it. I was also quite surprised. Teacher Zhang was stunned before laughing loudly. Great scholar Shen shook his head. Lai Ziobai, you are very honest. It turned out that he had used a method secretly to inspect Lai Ziobai's literary kai and talent kai. He obtained information that this person had quite an ordinary talent. But it is not something rare that he can have a flash of inspiration and perform better than normal. Great scholar Shen had no suspicions. Teacher Zhang reassessed Lai Ziobai in a new light. He looked at Lai Ziobai inconspicuously as he thought, even though Lai Ziobai is very ordinary in talent, he is very hardworking normally. That is how he had three poems prepared. Being able to gain inspiration and make up the verse on the spot shows that he has potential. But the best thing about him is that he said those words earlier before the third round. He apologized to his classmates. That was his good interpersonal skills. Being able to articulate as well as his writing, and sophisticated in human interaction, he is not bad. Wait. Teacher Zhang suddenly thought, this competition is going to be famous in the world. My reputation has already spread throughout the world before this. That is not key. But Lai Ziobai is going to become famous from this. If there were three students who performed, it would be less impactful. But he actually took all three chances. This way, he will be the center of attention. After ending in a draw against Brother Shen, nobody will find me for a duel in the short period but there might be some devious people who would target my student in order to affect me. And the problem was, Lai Ziobai was a common and ordinary student. Teacher Zhang frowned as he made up his mind. After this, I need to nurture Lai Ziobai and secretly give him tuition. After this competition, everyone will know that Lai Ziobai is my student. Even though I have many students, he is the only famous one. In the future, if anyone mentions Lai Ziobai, my name will also come up. Our reputation is already tied together. I need to nurture him well, otherwise. Teacher Zhang felt very pressured. He decided to make sure Lai Ziobai was a proper scholar even if he had to spend a huge amount of effort and resources. Even if he was a cheap piece of wood, he needed to be carved into jade in appearance. Central Continent, Fei Mountain. Gu Liu Ru stopped his killer move as he wiped the sweat off his forehead. He let out a breath of air. It is done. His immortal aperture time has been shifted to its limit. He will face calamities and tribulations very often. Thank you for the hard work. Qin Ding Ling smiled as she looked at the sleeping Gu Yu Fang Zheng. Suddenly, she gasped. What is it? Gu Liu Ru asked in confusion. Qin Ding Ling said, I was using a killer move to inspect luck. I found that after your killer move was activated, Fang Zhang's luck changed again. His original luck was like a hill, lush and squarish, but now it has turned into, hmm, it looks like a pot lid. Gu Liu Ru was very perplexed. What premonition is this? Qin Ding Ling shook her head. She was troubled too. In the short term, I cannot understand it. Two months later, a certain news made Fang Yuan's main body stop his cultivation. I finally found out the location of Dragon Palace. Good, I have basically learned all the Kai Path methods there are. 
I should act in advance and steal this immortal goo house in secret before heavenly court does.